Hello everyone, it's George and welcome back to Call of Dragons. As a dedicated free-to-play player who played this game for more than 400 days, I'm excited to share some insider tips and tricks with you. Stick around and let's dive in. As you can see, we are having some end-of-the-season fun. We are trying to get some merits. Still, Hell Pirates are always active. We are always trying to get as much merits as possible because, as I have said before, Call of Dragons has the best best kingdom builder combat gameplay which i have ever seen in this game so far first legion which i will be using is of course my uh craig and thea which i have said it before it surprised me a lot how successful this hero pair have been in this season of course i'm using my wyverns here and to be honest i thought at the start of the season that this would be my weakest legion but so far i got i got really really surprised simply because Generally, when I'm fighting, I'm getting most of the uh, merits from this hero pair. In terms of uh, Craig and Thea, my Craig is awakened. My Thea is simply free-to-play Thea, which means this hero pair you can build anytime you want in the Call of Dragons. It won't gonna be hard. But one special thing about this hero pair is that I'm using Wyverns, right? In general, I think Wyverns should have some more love in terms of gameplay. <clears throat> but after the update we saw that wyverns are having more march speed and also like flying units are going to have um like ability to destroy some buildings which is pretty amazing if you ask me right let's see if my awards will be actually happening and if i will get yellow merits because as i have said it before uh, whenever you are fighting you are always trying to get yellow merits in the battlefield because that's when you are actually happy about your performance on the field unfortunately i'm hitting only infantry and that's not the best target i always advise to hit backline whenever you are fighting as an archers and of course next season season of stripe will be without long range warfare so i have to use this opportunity to fight more simply because next season i won't gonna be i won't gonna have enough range same as mages and it will be pretty interesting how in general um like archers are going to perform in the fights right so far i can see some of the range units which is always the best target and i always advise you guys to try to click on the range units because they have the lowest amount of uh, armor and archers are having the highest amount of uh, physical attack right <clears throat> so in terms of uh, pure best target i think mages are always the best target for archers of course there is some situations whenever you don't have any other target than infantry unfortunately and you prefer to at least hit somebody rather than not hit anybody right so that's why sometimes i have to click on infantry legion simply because i would not have any other targets on the battlefield yet again i'm playing with the uh, zoomed out strategy as you can see um of course um, zoomed out strategy is more preferable whenever there is a lot more enemy legions because sometimes it's really hard to see what you are clicking or uh, what you are fighting but in this case we have low amount of troops on the battlefield and i can sometimes zoom in and actually see what we are fighting against right so far we are hitting some of the turrets which will uh, which will be dealing quite a lot of damage and actually like yesterday I built my maximum level to it fire, fire to it and slowly whenever enemy was pushing towards ourselves I got 1000 free merits with one turret which is like another addition to the game in general I don't think like turrets are that important in the game uh, they don't do enough damage they are not that hard to destroy so that's why I think uh, whenever you are pushing at first try to focus on turret because i hate generally when um ice turret is going to slow you it's it really sucks because uh in general either as i have said before um before the update whenever archers had the lowest amount of uh, march speed it was pretty bad whenever ice turret was actually hitting you and it was really really hard for you to maneuver around the battlefield finally i'm able to click on mage unit uh, of course uh, more time i will have standing still and 
attacking mages better it will be for everybody but as soon as mage legion will move back i will have to click on infantry and yeah whenever you are having a long range warfare and you are using your artifact it always feels good right let's try to defeat this infantry until we're gonna move forward uh with the next target and let's wait how fast we are going to defeat this uh infantry players like actually Madeline is always nice target not the best target uh, i hate to click on goresh and skogul because they are having a huge amount of uh, counter-attack damage to yourself but see, as you can see finally uh, we are having some um range units attacking from the backward so that's what we are going to do we are just going to go back and we are just going to try to attack some more range units as soon as i will see some cavalry player rushing towards us that will be the best target in my opinion uh as that's why i'm waiting for this Cavs player to attack a little bit more and in general whenever i'm fighting i'm always trying to not get targeted because if you are getting targeted you are going to die pretty soon and that's the lowest amount of merits you are going to get whenever you are dying really fast of course i re i want to have a better position here uh, finally somebody actually targeted my legion that's why i'm moving back uh, then let's see if i will have a better position around the battlefield so far what i like about this fight is that we have quite a lot of infantry players who are trying to defend our legions which is actually great because as i have said it before without infantry players it would be really rough for everybody to deal damage because all the time you need some kind of protection if you are not protected then it will be really really rough unfortunately i'm the target of this keep uh, it's always really really hard to fight whenever there is a lot of keeps keeps around the battlefield and that's why i have to move back uh, simply because we don't have enough uh, infantry players right now we already made the one small push which should be quite enough right i will try to wait if we will have some more infantry players running up um, towards our front line and if they will do that of course i'm going to continue to fight for some more right uh, let's try to deal some more damage towards this infantry player unfortunately that's the uh, goresh and skogul which i really really hate to click on but yeah what you can do whenever you don't have any other options your only option is to actually click on the infantry finally i can see some cavs player then let's deal some damage to cavalries right uh, maybe i will try to use my shadow blades if i will have enough target but unfortunately there is no much of a target but yeah finally i managed to use my shadow blades which is a great thing to do especially i like craig and stia simply because i can do airy damage whenever you are using skill damage factor as a stia you are dealing damage to multiple targets 11k merits not bad uh, simply because this uh, fight was not really long enough in order for us to deal more and more damage but as soon as you are having more than 10k merits from the one legion that's already good enough in my opinion unfortunately we are only one alliance in this ramp who are trying to attack them uh, they are always in a defensive stance unfortunately and it's pretty pretty bad because if you want to get merits you need to move up to this keep and enemy is actually pretty scared of us simply because they like to fight around turrets around a lot of keeps and uh, that's the bad version of fighting for us but as soon as we want to have more merits in this game we have to do something and something is always pushing from our side right finally they actually moved a little bit up which is a great opportunity for us to deal some more damage and let's see maybe this legion will perform well these three legions which is world and Welling. Sindrion and Fragar and my best legion which is Cray which is uh, Nico and Kinara best I mean simply because uh, my only legendary hero is uh, Kinara and whenever I'm fighting I'm always expecting that my uh, awakened legendary hero will be dealing more damage than anything else unfortunately we don't have much more uh, infantry players to defend our ramp but that's fine maybe we are going to play around and play some uh, in and out 
Hound strategy, which is always uh, the style of gameplay who the experienced fighters are playing with. And maybe in the future, like in a couple of seconds, we will see some more um, like frontline players rushing in, such as our cavalry player, which is doing that. And I can see one more infantry player, which is doing absolutely correct job, simply because uh, without infantry players, this is really hard for everybody to push up and do some damage. I hope I will be having my artifacts really really soon simply because artifacts are one of the highest thing to deal damage with. Uh, if not then we are going to deal damage with normal attacks. Uh, this infantry is trying to defend, it's like one on one versus one fight against other infantry and this guy is simply moving back unfortunately right? Uh, that's only only time whenever I don't like to fight, whenever I don't have any front line and enemy is having a lot of infantry players and let's see maybe in this case we will be able to have more yellow merits than before so let's try to deal some damage unfortunately in this fight i got targeted quite a lot of times but as a marksman player sometimes you like to get targeted simply because you are dealing quite a good amount of counter attack damage to enemies whenever you are playing as a archers right just like a semi tank uh, simply because uh, arcs marks marksman's uh, counter attack damage is quite a lot and you are dealing quite a big amount of physical counter-attack damage so far we are having our legions quite healthy if you ask me because we have been fighting for a couple of minutes already and let's see maybe we can have more couple of seconds uh, by standing still and dealing some more damage to enemies um, I wish I had some front line here it would be much better it would be give us more chance to deal more damage to enemies but if we are not going to have it well we are recording right and I will try to make something happen Unfortunately, enemy went back. Uh, that's the worst part whenever you're fighting. Maybe we will just recover here and yeah, like and finally I can see one infantry player which is moving up and of course I'm going to follow him if we are going to do something here, right? Let's just deal some little bit damage, maybe enemy will follow us. Uh, of course I will be getting targeted here, that's a quite a small mistake but I want them to uh, move move forward because we are having fun here it's already the end of the season and I have no idea why our enemy is so scared we are same um, power alliance as they are and it's pretty awkward whenever you are trying your best to fight and enemy is trying their best to just defend defend for what I have no idea actually simply because the like season is almost done like couple of more days until the like this KVK, KVK will be over and I have no idea what's the point of standing still having these three keeps and actually doing nothing farming well um, at the start of the every season farming is enough I'm not sure why people are uh, looking at Call of Dragons as a farm simulator simply because as I have mentioned before, Call of Dragons has the best Kingdom Builder combat gameplay in any uh, games which we are seeing so far. Of course, I will do something like this. Maybe enemy will follow me. Maybe they will do something. Uh, if not, like I will be waiting for my infantry players to do something. But let's try to deal some damage. I don't really care about these legions simply because I will have enough time in the future to uh, heal my troops and I will have enough time to do a lot of stuff uh, simply because well if you are not fighting I have no idea what you are doing in this game finally we are having some little skirmish of course I will move back to remove those targets and yeah unfortunately enemy is actually targeting me but who cares I just want to fight I just want to be able to get some more merits and if I will be doing some with with this action I will be doing that uh, your main aim should be to always to get some more merits in this game because that's the statistics which shows you that you are fighter uh, because you will have a lot of problems in your alliance if you are not fighting if you are not having a high number of uh, merit score in this game simply because well if you are not having a lot of merits it means you are not fighting and it means that fighting alliances won't be interested in uh, keeping with you and as I have mentioned many many times um, well you want to be in active alliance 
alliance if you are in a passive alliance if you are in a farming alliance then you are going to get a lot bored and you are going to miss the activeness of the alliance right so that's why let's try to be as active as possible and let's don't care that i'm losing the uh, the troops uh, which i'm fighting with simply because um, i will have enough time to get more and more troops i will have enough time to uh, get uh, my uh, hospital healed and finally all of my fighting legions are going home and we are going to have time for me to check how we behaved in this uh, war of course 91k uh, like spearmen i already had like close to 300k hospital wyvern riders so which is totally fine which means i only lost 91k spearmen and 58k um, mages which is totally fine i don't care really about this hospital bill because season is almost done and i will have enough time to heal my troops now what's the most important is the merit score and as you can see we are having three yellows uh, as i have promised that i would be getting uh, yellow merits unfortunately the uh, hero player which i said was the best one which is craig and thea is not having a yellow merit score but that's totally fine i'm pretty sure guys you will find a lot of videos on my channel which which, uh, which will uh, like say that Craig and Thea has been the best performing um, uh legion for me during the fights because i have gotten like 20 21k 23k merits with my craig and sia uh, finally my best legion in terms of skills skill levels nico and kinara is having the highest amount of merits in these fights so i think this little push was really good uh, we are having three yellow merits out of four and whenever you are going to see yellow merits on your reports uh, it means you are did really really good job in the battlefield of course it might be better to see 39k 85k merits on the legions but i'm a free to play player who spends zero dollars in this game i don't have tier 5 player i don't have tier 5 troops my tier 4 units are getting stronger and stronger i did not even max like hp research or defensive research i'm trying to do that right now i have 24 level town hall i'm trying to get 25 right now so there is still a long way but i hope you are guys are enjoying the videos i'm trying to make on a daily basis if you do press like subscribe share it always gives me more and more motivation to make more videos for this amazing game i hope everybody will have amazing day morning or night and one big word born teach bye bye and good luck